Last one. But is it the best one? Okay guys, thanks again for tuning in, obviously. The last three days have been full on, but yet yeah, fantastic. Uh, thanks for all the comments, all the feedback that we've got on the videos so far. It's been an absolute pleasure making these, as it always is doing the special stuff. Anyway, welcome back to Annex with me, Danny. No Lance, still, but we'll see. And today, the last shoe. Um, I think yesterday, the Loverton, Got a really, really good response. You saw my reaction in the video. Um, what can I say? But today, we've got the last shoe from the drop. So let's check them out. We have got the Ashurst SPZL. Ooh. Uh, these come in again, like I said yesterday with the boxes. This pair, uh, that I've got come in the new style box. Um, obviously, some of them come may come in the old style box. And someone did ask that actually after the video yesterday: Is it just the Loverton that comes in the new style box? I think I think it's just a mixture. It's potluck if you get a new one or an old one, depending on how you look at it. Let's break into these. That's getting higher. Right. Check these bad boys out. Oh my word. Ooh. Look at them. What to say? Now, you know, the Annex is a community. Yes, all right, it might be me and Lance who do the videos and things like that, but. We like to think ourselves as a bit more of a community channel. So we found someone that loved these so much. They said, Danny, the beg, the beg to say, can I say a little piece on camera? So yeah, over to you, mate. Hi, everybody. My name's Tony, AKA Talker Tony. And I've been given a guest spot on the Sneaker Annex to tell you my top pick for this weekend's Spezial Drop. But before I do, let me just take you back to last year. The Silver Birch came out 2019 and it absolutely blew me away. I'm a complete sucker for a Dellinger web sole unit and uh, it comes as no surprise that my top pick for this weekend's drop is the Ashurst trainer. It's based on the Sydney runner from the 1980s and I don't have one in hand but I'm told it's going to be a, as close as we're going to get to a one-to-one -one reissue of the Sydney. So I'm really looking forward to that. It's got everything. Vintage silhouette, amazing colourway. It's going to be a timeless classic. So uh, good luck to everybody who's going for those shoes. And uh, all that's left for me to do is pass you back to Danny in the studio and to uh, wish you a great weekend. Stay safe, everybody, and cheers. So big up talker, Tony. That is, and apparently, he reckons he took one take to do all that, but I'm not too sure. How much was it really, mate? 61? <laughs> but yeah, let's look a bit more at some of the details on these. So, um, like Tony said, based on the Sydney, now, there is a slight difference. They've gone for a mesh toe box on here instead of like a nylon one. Uh, I'm sure you've seen Gary's post this morning that uh, alludes to all that. The quality of the materials, this suede, is so nice. You're gonna get the brush test off that. It's got a lovely texture to it. Obviously, the most, is it the most? Don't know if it's the most, but an absolute classic colorway uh, for an Adidas runner. I don't really know what, <laughs> what else is there to say on it. They're absolutely spectacular. Uh, obviously, they got, you got the yellow stripes with the black outline, you've got a nice black suede panel that runs all the way around the back to here. Obviously like Tony said, the Dellinger web and then the outsole looks fantastic. So yeah, like uh, 
like Tony says and Gary put on his post this morning, based on the Sydney, with some slight differences. But like Gary said this morning, he could have just done like some sort of ZX600 or something like that. But this, for me, kind of defines Spezial a little bit. Bring back something that, I mean, I've, I'm going to hold my hands up. I didn't know why Sydney was, so I'm not going to pretend that I do. But bring back something from back in the day, update it slightly, put some slightly modern materials on it, and come on, the touch, the Ashurst, where the name comes from. So if you don't know, uh, Jack McLaughlin, who was a massive Adidas collector, yeah, so named after a place where Jack, uh, where Jack lived, uh, out towards Wigan Way, I believe it is. And I've got to say, I didn't know Jack, I kind of knew of him, obviously, especially as the shoes came out, I learned a little bit more. But I did speak to one of his friends today, just chatted on Instagram, Chris, and you can see, like, I'll pop an image up now, uh, massively into his Adidas vintage trainers. He's giving Gary a lesson here at Laces Out, uh, and he's been collecting this unnamed trainer. Uh, it never had a name that this city series he got in South America just shows his dedication to collecting trainers so a really really lovely touch obviously it's got his date of birth it's not in the usual place let's see if we can get that yeah it's got his date of birth in there so just a lovely touch and I know like uh, Jack's friends uh, have said that it's a great touch and the, the t-shirt's called the McLaughlin as well so just a great touch from uh, from Gary and the team there. And just on the names actually, um, somebody did ask about why the Leeds names in like the Loverton? And the simple answer is, I spoke to Gary about this, because obviously I was like, oh I wish I'd have known I'd give you where I live in Leeds. Or why don't you call it a Royston or an Atherton? Uh, and he said it was pure and simply, a couple of years ago, some guy sent him a list of places in Leeds and it's so hard to get the names past like trademark and things like that. He just fired some in and saw Hook come back and it's as simple as that. So people try to read into anything like this. Why is it called a Loverton? Why is it called a Holbeck jacket? Why is it called a Meanwood hat? That's the reason why. So yeah, for everybody who keeps asking about that, that's the answer on that one. What else to say on these? These are just, ooh, they're just fantastic. I'll drop some on feet shots now. One thing I like, I, I do like, don't get me wrong, I do like a flat sole and, and, and that kind of trainer as well. But I do like a runner. You'll, you'll know if you watch regularly, I'm not just somebody who will wear jeans and stuff like Today I've got my ca uh, camouflage cargo pants on. And so you can kind of wear the runners, like my silver birch. Silver birches get worn uh, with cargo pants more often than they do jeans, to be honest. Uh, I'll just try these on. Get the flexibility test up again. I think I'm getting more flexible as the week goes on, to be honest. But yeah, absolutely true to size on these. Uh, you want to be getting your usual Adidas Special sizing. Uh, so these are an eight, I'm an eight, and the look banging. So yeah, <sighs> what a trainer. Now, obviously we've had some great feedback over these past four videos, or past three videos, into the fourth one. What I will say is, I know what people are going to ask me, which is your favourite? And I know it's almost a cop out to say none of them are my favourite, but what I will say is there's something for everyone in here. And I think I just said it on the first video. If you're into your runners, I mean, it's got to be up there with one of the best Spezial runners, surely. Surely it's got to be. I mean, Silver Birch, Silver Birch is up there for me as well. These Silver Birch, what a pair of runners. I don't, I don't think I could split them to be honest, but that's just a massive compliment to this, more than a cop out. If you're into more, you're more City Series, then we've got the Loverton. Again, that got some fantastic uh, reception yesterday when we showed these on the channel. If you want something a bit more classic, then you've got the Training 76s. And if you want something, and I've I always show the right shoe, but because I laced up the left shoe in the yellows, and I think it looks better with the yellow. You've got the Zeros, if you're into that more kind of vintage -y kind esque style, if you know what I mean. So yeah, what a trainer, what a set of trainers. Um, and like I said, there's something in there for everyone. If you're into Special, and you know, if you've only got to pick one, then it's a really difficult decision, I think, this season. I would say some seasons in the past, there, there's always been not always, but there's been obvious ones that you might want to pick up. But I think in this drop, it's really difficult. 
We've had feedback from loads of people saying, well, I want these ones, I want those ones. I'll hold my hands up. To start, I wanted these two. Straight away, 100%, these are what I'm getting. Because I, I'm not fortunate enough to just be able to go and buy all four pairs of trainers. So these were the two for me. Uh, but we have had people kind of saying about all of them, oh, I want these, I want these. If you're looking to get all four, then you've hit the jackpot. You've got, you've got a great set this season. For me, I'd still, I'm going to stick my neck out there. I still would go, I'd still go for these two out of the whole four. I do like the other ones, but again, on the budget and all the rest, I'm going to go for these two as my favourite. And I'd, how do you split them? You can't because the two completely different ones, aren't they? If I want to wear some jeans and just maybe go to the pub, it might be these ones. If I'm going to wear my cargo pants, I'll wear these ones. I don't know. Good luck to everyone entering the jaw. Getting my tongue twisted. I've been talking too much. I've been up all night talking about the trainers and all sorts of things. So yeah, these are £89, uh, about 90 quid, uh, depending on which site you look on. I got, the, I got my pricing from Hannon. And again, like I said, with the whole range, such reasonable pricing. Do you know, I think it's very fair what the, uh, how they priced this year's shoe collection. And I don't think there's anything else much to add. Once again, massive shout out to Gary and the Special team for getting the stuff across to us early. Hopefully you've liked the videos over the last four days. Hopefully we can continue forward doing the Special reviews, maybe bringing some other stuff in as well. Do you know, there's, uh, there's certainly some amazing size exclusive things, not just from Adidas, but from Reebok, uh, from Puma and other brands that we can maybe try and do something with. But yeah, if you've tuned into all four videos, thank you very much. Don't forget we'll be going live on Instagram, 8.45 tonight, where you can ask more questions about the shoes. We'll show all four and yeah, like I say, you can just find out any information extra that I maybe haven't covered. So thank you everybody for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, blah, blah. See you next time, Alex. Bye.